So we're in London for the Ericsson OSS BSS Summit 2025. I'm here with Mats Carlson. He's Head of Business and Operations Systems at Ericsson. Mats, great to see you today. Thanks very much for Thank joining you. us. Um, how are you finding this year's summit? Any key takeaways at all? Uh, <clears throat> I think, I mean, I think it's a 26 year old history of this uh, summit. And I think, you know, it kind of started with like a user group, a lot of technical discussions, etc. And uh, like, uh, people voting for features in the, in, uh, in the different operators. I think if you look now, it's very much an industry event. Mm -hmm. uh, you will see a lot of, I mean, in history was a lot of Ericsson presentation now you see it's operators presenting to, to other operators so I mean the, the whole event has evolved and obviously I think for, for this year I think we start to see the same team as maybe last year about how do we monetize the new uh, revenue opportunities coming from 5G standalone and differentiated connectivity but I think this year you have also seen a lot of emphasis on the autonomous network how do we actually operate the, the networks for the future. Now you mentioned the the monetization there business opportunities and there does appear to be a great business opportunity for network operators around dynamic network slicing but there still seem to be some fundamental challenges there in terms of bringing this service to market at scale. Uh, we've seen a really good Catalyst demo here uh, with BT, Deutsche Telekom and Telia. Uh, what are the highlights of that demonstration? What does it tell the market? No, I think, I mean, we are in a situation now where I believe technology is ahead of, of business. I think we can show and we can drive a lot of new services. I, I think one of the things that we see is obviously what I'm pushing a lot of the times is that I think we need to be much more quicker. We need to be much more agile and flexible. And we need to do this uh, as a more uh, efficiently operated uh, network in terms of running these services. And I think now, I think what we showed in the demo was a very much like, a, I think, uh, a network as a service type of approach by providing secure connectivities on airports, but really then adding some of the capabilities also from like how do I assure uh, this type of services? How can I provide an SLA? And how can I also interact with the system in a conversational way? And I think what we did here was really to show something that is based on technology that exists today. So I think right now, I think the challenge is obviously how do we start to seeing this technology being also translated into new revenue streams and new services for the operators. And I think this is obviously where I think the focus is now. It's very much, I think, also on the business side now. And you've spoken about uh, proving the industrialization potential of autonomous networks. Uh, can you tell us more about that topic? I think what we are seeing is that, I mean, what we're having now is a foundational layer of a programmable network based on 5D standalone, which makes it possible to actually steer quality of service, have services that is based on, on uh, service level agreements, SLA based services. But then we see these two, bits, uh, two uh, I would say, paradigms that is happening. One is around, I mean, the capability to create and, and uh, define new differentiated connectivity service, I mean, exposed directly or through APIs, but I think also with autonomous networks. So what we're also saying is that if you're going to launch and deploy this type of services in the network, you will actually need the automation that provides that comes from the autonomous network actually to run and operate these services. So we see that, I mean, you can't only invest in the, in the services, you also need to invest in having a modernized network at the same time. So when we are talking about the industrialized autonomous network, it's both to provide the capabilities of delivering the new services, but also making sure that you can deliver them in, in a very efficient way. Well, I mean, it's it's a fascinating topic. And like you said, lots of network operators here talking about what they're doing and how they're moving themselves forward into these next generation networks. So fascinating stuff at this summit. Matt, thanks very much for joining us today. Great to hear your thoughts. Thank you.